Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have number 4 today. We are going to solve two-step inequalities. We're going to put the addition and subtraction, multiplication and division lessons together. We might as well get right into it. Like I say, it's the best way to learn. Alright, we've got 26 less than or equal to 4 plus 2x. That's our first one. We're going to be wanting to solve for x. We're isolating for x. We want to get it by itself. We're going to move the positive 4 over then. So it's minus 4 on the other side. So 26 minus 4 is 22 less than or equal to 2x. Then we divide both sides by 2 or we take the 2 and we move it to the bottom. It's on the top on one side, it's on the bottom on the other. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So that's 11. It's less than or equal to x. And we flip it around so x is on the left. x is greater than or equal to 11. Okay, so more than one step, but not too complicated. Let's do another one. 58 is less than or equal to 8 minus 5k. We're going to move the 8 over. It's positive on one side, so it's going to be negative. On the other side, 58 minus 8 is 50, less than or equal to minus 5k. And we take the minus 5, and because it's multiplied, we're going to divide it on the other side. So we're dividing by a negative, so that means that we are going to uh, flip the sign. So we have minus 10 is greater than or equal to k, and then we're going to flip it back over because we want k on the left. So k is less than or equal to minus 10, and that is our final answer. Okay, so when we divide, multiply or divide by a negative number, we flip that sign. Let us continue. We have 9 is less than or equal to 7 plus x divided by 3. We want to get x all by itself, but we've got this whole convoluted fraction thing. So let's take the 3 and move it up to the other side. It's multiplied on the other side. So 9 times 3 is 27. That's less than. 7 plus x. We want to get x all by itself, so we take the 7 and we move it over to minus 7. 27 minus 7 is 20. It's less than x, and then we flip it around. x is greater than 20 for our final answer. If you have questions, pause the video and be like, hey, what are you talking about? And I'll be happy to answer them. 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to minus 40. We're going to take the minus 4 and move it over. It's plus 4 on this side. So then 3x is less than or equal to minus 36. Minus 40 plus 4. We're going towards 0. We then move the 3 to the other side. It's on the top on here. It's going to be on the bottom. x is less than or equal to minus 36 divided by 3. Three, that's minus 12. We have two more problems to do. Let's go. We have 28 is greater than 4 plus 6m. We are isolating the m, so let's move the 4 over. Minus 4 on that side. 28 minus 4 is 24. That's greater than 6m. Move the 6 over to the other side. 24 divided by 6 is 4. Yes, so that's 4 is greater than m, but we want to go ahead and flip that around. m is less than 4. Again, pause the video at any time. Encourage that for sure. So we have 7 plus a divided by 1 is greater than 7, greater than or equal to 7. We're going to go ahead and try to get A all by itself. We're going to move the 7 across. Okay, I see where this is going. We're going to subtract 7. So A, and A divided by 1 is just A. So A is greater than or equal to 7 minus 7 is 0. When something is divided by 1 or multiplied by 1, it's just itself. So there's not too much to do there. Um, so that's it. Doing the addition and subtraction, and then making sure when we multiply or divide, we flip the, uh, the direction of the inequality. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. 
I'll see you soon.